initially when ada boost was uh, invented it was only used for binary classification but just uh, uh, but at uh, uh, this uh, stage the ada boost has its use cases in text and image classification as well okay i have one example for image classification also in the practical applications for ada boost okay now let us see what are the disadvantages of the ada boost okay as uh, you know that this boosting uh, technique it learns uh, uh, progressively so it is uh, important to ensure that you should have quality data okay let me tell you that ada boost it gets affected uh, 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 affected by the noisy data and the outliers so if you are using ada boost if you uh, decide to use ada boost uh, it is highly recommended that you should eliminate all these noisy data and the outliers okay and ada boost it is uh, uh, proven to be much more slower than the xg boost xg boost is faster among all these boosting algorithms uh, so xg boost is the fastest so ada boost is basically it is slower than the xg boost these are some of the disadvantages which you have to see about ada boost now moving towards the practical applications of the ada boost okay ada boost uh, 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 is used to solve a variety of real world problems okay such as predicting customer churn and classifying the types of topics customer are talking about okay uh, first i want to ask you that how many of you know about this customer churn 